What's up guys? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 18 of my 31 days of Halloween, so we are past halfway. It's going good, we're doing well. Um, yeah, so today's video is a haul every seven days. I am posting a haul, so this is my third haul. I think this is my third. TK Maxx, student lock-in. Yeah, this is my third haul. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Um, yes, so I have loads of stuff to show you because this is my cheap haul or just places where you can buy Halloween stuff that isn't mad expensive. I know sometimes that like, TK Maxx can charge a lot of money for stuff, um, where else like Marks and Spencers can, what am I trying to say, Marks and Spencers can um, charge a lot. I know there's places out there that charge a lot, so these are some cheap places that you could go to buy some Halloween stuff. Bearing in mind, most of this is UK based stores so if you're in the UK this video is of great use if you're not I apologize but if you're from America you cannot complain because your Halloween stuff is lit from what I've seen from other people's videos I'm like mad jealous over here like mad jealous I'm so sorry about the noise pumpkin has decided to attack my tripod who knows why but let's just get into it because I'm gonna run out of time so right the first place I'm gonna show you is Primark so these are the bags. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you all know what a Primark bag looks like. I picked up a few bits from here. There's nothing like major, there's not loads of stuff, but the stuff that I found is pretty cute. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into it and show you. So the first thing I have to show you is a pair of devil horns. Um, that's just like it will make a cute little hairband. Um, these were two pound. And to be honest, I'm gonna wear these all year. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just like their like graphic horns it'd be really cute to wear these and then do like a graphic liner in red with these to match that'd be pretty fucking cute but yeah so they're just a nice cute little simple um headband next i have another headband to show you this was two pound fifty and it is these gorgeous lace cat ears i'm trying to show you where you'll be able to see them um and what i love about this halloween is that my hair is green so i can wear these like black lacy things and they'll actually show up in my hair um, but when it was black, it just kind of blended in. But yeah, so these are so cute. I'll give you, ooh, oh no. Um, a little close up of the lace. They're so gorgeous. And again, these can be worn all year round and they were £2.50. Next, I have a couple of t-shirts. The first is like incredible. So it is a sheen in a pumpkin that says beautiful. How cute! I've been waiting to wear this till I filmed the video so that it's all in one place, I don't lose anything, so now I can finally wear this. I'm going to wear it to uni, I'm going to wear it to bed, everywhere, the only places I ever go. <laughs> um, and that was £6. I got that in a large, so it's a 14 to 16, so it's going to be massive and oversized and I'm going to love my life because all I want to be in life is spooky and cosy, so there we go. <laughs> Um, next up, I have another t-shirt, and <clears throat> this is in, again, a large, I like oversized things, and it is Casper, the friendly ghost, and it says, if you got it, haunt it, and it's glow in the dark. That's just so cool. Um, this top was, again, £6. These are the only, like, Halloween-themed clothes I could find in Primark, so you know I had to buy them straight away, but, um... Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I wish there was way more Halloween stuff in Primark, but my Primark's rubbish, I guess. I have one last thing to show you, and again, I've been waiting to wear these. Like, I can't fucking wait to wear these. They're so cute. So it's a pack of two chokers. One says trick, one says treat. Like, how fucking adorable is that? It was £2.50 for the set of two, and the only thing I don't like is that they do up um, with this chain thingy, which pretty much any high street choker is gonna do up in that fashion, but I feel like they break so easily. Maybe I just have like a mega strong neck, I don't know. They break really easily, so that's a bit rubbish, but at least the one or two times I wear them, I'll look cute, and I'll make sure to take pictures for Instagram before they break. <laughs> yeah, that is everything from Primark. Like I said, there wasn't loads in my store. Um, so I'm jealous if you guys have got loads of cute stuff from TK Max from Primark. Next up, I'm going to show Marks and Spencers because I bought one thing. Um, and it is a skull decanter. Um, it's got um, some of Jake's rum in it at the moment. I don't drink rum, rum is gross. But yeah, it's just like this um, glass. It is like a durable glass skull with a cork in the top that you... Ooh, that 
is in there tight on that. There we go, a little cork in the top so you can keep alcohol in there. Um, and I guess Jake got to it before I did, otherwise I would have vanilla vodka in there because that is the way forward. But um, yeah, they're pretty cute. This was £8, which is a pretty good price um, for this. And like I said, it's not cheap and rubbish, it's good quality. Next up, I'm going to do Pound World because they had so much good stuff this year. So to start off with, I got this. Um, it's kind of hard to see because of the ring lights, but it is a drink me. It says, in the deep darkness, the blood of many, drink me, but only if you dare. So it's basically just like a big cylinder that's going to hold your beverages. Um, and then it's got like the little tap thing so you can dispense it. I'm probably not going to put any drink in here, I bought this purely for decoration, I think it looks cool, and it was £3, so that's pretty good. Next I bought two dog toys, I do not own a dog, these are for my sister's dog, Toby, I need to check with her if he is allowed these, I don't know if he is, but I'm sure it will be fine. So we have one little pumpkin and one little cube thing that says boo, but he's probably going to attack these and kill them instantly. I don't think, oh, that squeaks. They both squeak and Pumpkin does not like them, but yeah, they're pretty cute and they were a pound each. They also have cat toys, so I got a Pumpkin for Pumpkin that vibrates. She's like, Mum, give me that right now. You want it? Ready? So she's going to attack that for the next 20 minutes. I then also got her one of these, so it's um, like a little cat teasing toy, whatever, I don't know what you call it, so it's got a black stick, and then at the bottom it's got a purple ball, or purple and white ball with feathers on the end, that jingles, and she loves these too, she loves those, they were both a pound each again, and they're really, really cute. Next up, I bought some pumpkins for decoration, so I have a larger size pumpkin, it's still in the plastic wrap, but it's orange and sparkly, and that was 2 50 and then I bought two smaller ones. I bought a black one and an orange one and these were £1.50 each and these are just going to look super cute either on my altar or on the side or on my table, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere cute. And I'm sure Pumpkin's going to chase those around too. I also bought two of these little glasses, um, they're pumpkins with a black lid and then an orange and black stripy straw. These were a pound each and they're just so cute. Um, I'm going to be making a video about Halloween cocktails so I'm sure these will feature in there but I just thought Jake would love these so I picked them up. They're so cute. Okay now the rest of the stuff is from Tiger. I don't know if you guys have that in America or wherever you're from but it's really really cute. Um, that's their little logo there. If you can see that. So the first thing I bought is this um, spider web bowl. So you could use, pumpkin is in my shopping bag, what the hell. So I bought this, um, you could use it um, if you're having a party to put like snacks and stuff in. Um, I'm gonna keep it on the side all year round and just keep like bananas and apples and stuff in there. So they're just all together in one place. It's not the most like durable thing, it is really bendy and stuff, but it was only like one or two pounds. So can't really complain, but yes, very cute. So next up I bought, there you go, Flying Tiger, Copenhagen, that's the shop, not in Copenhagen, it's in Southampton. I bought this huge candle, so it's like the size of my face, um, I bought it in orange because obviously Halloween colours and this was £3 and I'm going to use this to decorate my altar with and yeah it's very cute, not scented, just cute. Next I bought this, which I'm going to have to open so you can see. So it is a black candle and it's like in a little stand, but the stand is also part of the candle. How cute is that? So this was like £1.50, £2, I can't exactly remember, but again this is for my altar, this is super cute, um, yeah, I just think that's so adorable, I love that. They came in other colours too, but I only like the black one. And then the last thing I got is a pack of drink stirrers and they just have little hands at either end. I'm not sure if these are for Halloween or if they were just in a random section, but I just thought these would be really, really cute as like if you're having a party, you can put these on the table or as like cocktail stirrers um, and they're just a little bit creepy. So I thought they would be cute. So that is everything I bought um, from like cheaper stores. Um, I do have an Asda haul coming up, but that will be right at the very end. You could also try places like Tesco, Wilco's, uh, Poundland is pretty rubbish to be honest this year. 
Um, they kind of just regurgitate the same shit every year. I'm over it, I'm done. Um, so I don't really go there. Um, Home Bargains, b and M. haven't been to any of those yet. So yeah, I'm going on Sunday to Guildford to see my sister and my dad's going to take me to a couple of places beforehand So because I don't have a car, I can't get places. So he's going to take me around, do a little like Halloween crawl and then go to Guildford. So I will have some... I will have some more stuff to show you. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed what I hope you have enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know down below what the coolest thing was that you saw in this video and please tell me the places you've been shopping for your Halloween stuff this year because I am obsessed with Halloween. Everything Halloween, I want it. So yeah, um yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share these videos enjoy my dance moves I don't know um, yeah basically I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before the 31st of October 2017 so if you would like to help me reach that goal then please 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 share this video so I'm gonna stop talking I'll let you guys go and I'll see you next time for more spooky content bye <laughs>